four. Live from the Sims Tower West in the Jim Robinson Toyota Studios, we are AM sixteen hundred WKKX. From AM sixteen hundred WKKX, the Valley's new watchdog. It's time once again for George Kellis. Brought to you today by Coors and Coors Light. Jump the gun on the turkey now. Everybody heard the uh, went, now. This yeah, is, yeah. This we is we a had test. we had three calls when that when that. This is a test. No calls, please. No calls, please. No calls, please. When you hear this sound, <laughs> not now. At another time during this hour, we're going to do it at least twice uh, or three more times. Well, one each hour is that what we're supposed to do, Doug? No, one a day. One a day. One a day. One a day. So when you hear that turkey sound, then you must be caller number what? Number one? Whatever we All want. All right, caller, uh, caller number... Well, because remember, they then have to guess the, the shots on the turkey. Right. So. Caller number one will get uh, their, their opportunity. And uh, the way this works is as follows. WKKX and our good friends at Respects, where they make good turkeys, too. Oh, boy. Have them cater yours. I went to a party one time, uh, office party, several years ago. Oh, Bill Respect and the gang do a great job with this stuff. I mean, that turkey dinner with all the trimmings, ooh, it's good stuff. Real, real, really good. Have them take care of it and forget about it. WKKX and our good friends at Respects have teamed up to make your Thanksgiving a little happier. For the next week, we're giving away turkeys from Respects. Every show will be giving away five turkeys, so listen for your chance to win. Every show will be giving away five turkeys? Yeah, one, one a day for the four shows. We have five oh, turkeys. Oh, I see what you're saying. So what, what you're saying is we have to have a winner today. Yeah. Somebody, ah, well then just, they, they can call in. I keep forgetting how we played this in the past. That's right. Uh, four people can call in, and we have to get a winner. Yeah, we have to get a winner. You guess is it shot number one, two, three, or four? If you're wrong, we go to the next caller until we get we get a uh, a verdict. Yeah, I don't know if anybody heard uh, Steve Novotny live today, but Lee Harvey Oswald became the shooter. The the the, the <laughs> track stopped and had to and had to reset. So there were like seven gunshots, but it was actually shot three. I see. But because the track started over, it appeared to be seven. I see. So w w the joke was that Lee Harvey Oswald was our shooter during SNL. Well, let's see if you all have a uh, better shooting record today. It's the Great Turkey Shoot of 2008 from WKKX and our favorite grocery store, Respect. We like Kroger, too. They're good people. But yeah, yeah there, was, there was a second gunman on the grassy knoll from 12 to 30. That's right, shooting at turkeys. Hit the president instead. Two one four sixteen hundred eight six six five one four sixteen hundred. Todd had this Friday. I don't know where he got it. I can't find it. I, I don't know whether this is accurate or not. I just dug something up on it. I'm trying to find what the total compensation is, hourly, and um, uh, total compensation with benefits, including legacy costs, for employees of the big three. United Auto Workers, because they're talking about this bailout. Now, i got a few things I want to tell you here. One thing I just saw in there says that their actually average hourly wage for work is $39.78. And their uh, total compensation package with benefits, legacy costs, and uh, medical care is $78.26 an hour. Now, here's the, here's the long and short of it, because I know exactly what's going to happen. Right now, the uh, Democrats would like a bailout for the big three. And the Republicans probably are going to block a bailout for the big three. So what the Democrats are going to wait for is for the new Congress to come in in January, and then they'll probably move on it at that time. Um, and, and try to try to ram through a bailout for the the uh, big three. Now I'm I don't oppose a bailout as long as a some of the 700 billion dollars that have already been appropriated for bailouts are used here, 
and B, it's done under a certain parameters. Here are the parameters, and they're real simple. They're not hard to understand at all. If, if we have great leadership in this country, if Barack Obama is a great leader, or if George W. Bush was a great leader, which he isn't, wasn't, isn't, couldn't be, and won't be, um, this is exactly what he would do. This, look, you tell me if, if, if you would think my leadership was misguided if I handled it this way. Tell me where I'm wrong. I'm going to invite the CEOs, Mr. Gittlefinger, who is the, um, the head honcho of the United Auto Workers, okay? The CEOs of these companies and the uh, head honchos from the United Auto Workers, and I'm going to call them into the conference room at the White House. And I'm going to tell them, gentlemen, this is what we're going to do. We know your country's in trouble. We know uh, that you've lost, you lost $39 billion last year, GM. And um, Ford, you didn't do quite as bad. You only lost $3 billion, but you lost $12 billion the year before that, and you're getting hammered this year. And Chrysler, you, you've got one foot over a cliff and one foot on a banana peel. So this is what we're going to do. To be fair to everybody, there's going to be a bailout. Now what you fellows are going to do is you're going to go back and you are going to start constructing automobiles that get better gas mileage. That's number one. You, you have to completely re-engineer your whole operation. Okay? As for the executives, you, Mr. CEO, uh, General Motors, you, Mr. CEO, Chrysler, you, Mr. CEO, we're going to bail you out. Your compensation, annual compensation, henceforth, is $400,000 a year. Not a dime more. That's it. If you don't like it, leave. Go somewhere else. We will find someone to take your job. If that's not enough money for you to live on, goodbye. Otherwise, we will. If you want, if that, if you have a problem with that right now, then the conversation.